Ladies and gentlemen, today we're talking about cheat days and how to bounce back. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Will Alday, Cameron Cole here, and today we're talking about the recovery from a cheat meal, a cheat day, or a cheat weekend, because I myself have been on the shelf. I've been injured here for the past week and a half, and I have been going crazy. I have been eating whatever I see in sight, because with me not being able to do a whole lot, I'm, I'm starting to fiend for some activity, and that activity is starting to lead to food, and I know that my buddy, my pal, my riding partner, just went through his own cheat weekend, right? Yeah, I had a pretty uh, bad weekend, guys. I'll kind of tell you my backstory to it. My last cheat meal was actually on Christmas. So I've been good for over a month now. And I was thinking I've been kind of tired, kind of worn out doing the same thing every day. I was thinking, this weekend we're going to be on the road. I'm going to have a little fun. I'm going to have something. Anyways, we got some ice cream and everything was going good. We went to the show. We're driving back a little bit more ice cream and then I went home, I had more ice cream, I had spaghetti and the cheat, the cheat meal turned into a full on crazy cheat day. Anyways, Monday morning, I'm freaking out. I see my abs and they're not the same and I'm like, wow, all this progress, all this hard work is gone. Gone. Just like that, <laughs> gone in the wind. But anyways, now we're on Wednesday and I'm back to normal. And we're gonna give oh. you three quick tips to make sure you're not freaking out like I was to get you back. Hey guys, we just want to give a quick shout out to our sponsor, the Modern Wellness Center. Make sure you follow them on social media at the Modern Wellness Center, but on Twitter, the Modern WC. And make sure to tell them that the Natty Boys sent you. Tip number one, drink water. Lots of water, guys, when you're waking up, 24 to 36 ounces, and keep it rolling. During your workouts, if you're at work, try to get that gallon of water in. And that's a life hack, guys. Just drink more water on the daily. It's going to make you feel better. It's going to hydrate those muscles, those joints. It's not going to retain all the water in the places you don't want it to yeah. retain it. And that goes with tip number two, doesn't it? It means going to the sauna if you can. Sweating out all that sodium, all that built-up sodium that your body has taken from the cheat day, the cheat meal. So if you're lucky enough to have a gym with the sauna, get in there for 15 to 20 minutes after your workout. But if you can't, Get outside, guys. Get in the sun. Get a sweat any way you can. And that means getting on a treadmill. That means going for a run. That means lifting some weights. That means doing some yoga. Whatever you guys do in your daily lives, just up the intensity a little bit. Get that sweat going. Tip number three, though, it's going to all encompass this. It's try to stay low carb for the next couple days because within the water that you're drinking, with the cheat meals that you had during the weekend, you're going to retain water, you're going to retain all that bloatedness where you don't want it, right? Right? Exactly. So what you're seeing in the mirror isn't fat, guys. What you're seeing on the scales is not true. Don't believe the scales. <laughs> if you woke up and you're five or six pounds heavier, it's not fat. Do not throw in the towel. It's four or five pounds of water. You did not gain a pound of fat. To gain a pound of fat, you have to eat 3,500 calories above maintenance for the day. Did you? I mean, I, I think I came close. I, <laughs> I probably did. So I gained a pound. But anyways, the other four pounds was water. So when you're seeing that, just don't freak out because if you keep it low carb, you're flushing all the sodium out of your system, two or three days, we're gonna be right back to where we were. Do not freak out, don't re overreact. Yeah, guys, and to wrap this up, consistency is key, really, because you're gonna have these days where you wanna eat whatever the hell you wanna want because life, it's not about following the rules all the time. It's about cheating a little bit, right? And to me, like, food is fun. And so I like to have a meal every week where I'm not going crazy, right? I, I don't have the cheat weekend 
where I just go nuts and eat whatever I want. I earned it. Yeah, he did. He did. But <laughs> but to help counteract that, like throw yourself a little bit of fun every week, right? You don't have to go nuts, but enjoy, enjoy your life, enjoy your food, enjoy yourself. And I, I, I don't really have any more to add to it. Do you, Cam? I mean, it doesn't matter if you're a peck man or a glute man. Don't freak out if you have a cheat meal. <laughs>